What do you think she eats? Well, okay, I can just picture Taylor Swift having like too much Chardonnay coming home from like the Grammys and just be like, oh. <laughs> this is her must have. Are you gonna have a big bite of this? We're carb loading here today on yeah. cheat day. cheat day you guys we're in the midst of one of the most epic weeks of all time here on clever style this is better than our birthdays and weddings this week is all about taylor swift it is taylor swift week and today on cheat day we are indulging in all of taylor swift's favorite food i'm so excited about this i'm obsessed with taylor and you know what i often think about what taylor swift eats what do you think she eats? well okay things have been dying to know i think the internet will agree with me. Either she's like strictly paleo, like she's mm. all about like- Whole 30. Whole 30, keto, like she's putting her body in a state of just fat burning constantly, or she doesn't eat until like four o'clock and it's Taco Bell. Yes. You know? like she's one or the other. Wow, I haven't even thought about this. Oh my God, girl, welcome into my mind. Like this is all I think about. So this, so I hear, so producers are telling me that this is what Taylor Swift has in her dressing room before any talk show appearance or concert. This is her must have. Yeah, this is on her writer, which in Hollywood, it means like your little sheet of paper that says everything that you have to have or you're not showing up. What's on your writer? Do I have a writer? Do you have a writer? Hell yeah. What's Why on do your you think writer? I'm here? <laughs> What's on your writer? I, this table can't be clean. This is a grande iced Americano with soy, and it's paired with a iced caramel latte or caramel, if you're from the South. But also, like, who uses sweet and low? I don't like the taste of fake sweeteners. I which hate makes it. me feel like Taylor's haters are gonna be like, she's fake sweet. Let's just get hopped up on coffee and country. Mm. I love it. I don't mind this at all. This is great. You can't taste the like plastic, like sweet and low taste. Yeah, but there's something kind of magical about it. Really? I, yeah. Don't. Are you serious? I would never lie to you. We've been friends for so long, and I would not start now. Let's try this one. Okay, this one is the the caramel macchiato with iced, iced caramel, caramel latte, latte with, with, with two, two sweet, sweet and lows. lows. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not in charge of her writer or making sure it happens. This is just liquid. Sugar. sugar. Yeah. Like, why would you even put sweet and low in it? Because it's the caramel is already so sweet. It's like. And this is like my problem with all of this. Like, is she really drinking this? She <laughs> is drinking this. Come on. I would have Starbucks every day if I could. You can. My bank account won't let me. <laughs> I have to move on to the loaf because I love a good S Bucks loaf. <laughs> I had one this morning. I had the banana nut loaf this morning. We're so not, not warm. Pumpkin gets... loaf cake. Oh, I like the pumpkin loaf. Start your day off with a pumpkin loaf cake. This is <laughs> thick. This makes me feel like I'm I'm working in construction and I'm about to eat like a ham sandwich my wife made me. Look, if you're gonna go the pastry route, you might as well get something this dense because that, at least you're gonna get some fuel for your day. Is this the fuel that you're running off of? This is why I crashed five minutes after <laughs> arriving here. This is probably what Taylor Swift's third home smells like. Mm. You know, like her Nashville home, like she's got a lot of pumpkin candles. candles. Yeah. Uh -huh. But not from, from Bath and Body Works, like the good ones. I don't know. She's I know, kind she's of kind of basic. Girl. It was really good. Do you really think Taylor Swift is sitting here eating a pumpkin loaf and then these two like calorie counting sugar monsters? Really? And then you think she like goes off and performs with Brendan Urie and like is like has all that energy and those long lean legs. Tis why, tis why. Ooh, hummus and wheat thins. <laughs> is Taylor Swift poor? <laughs> she has a very basic palate is for she, sure. Yeah, so the reason why we know that hummus is one of Taylor's favorite foods is because she said so in Vogue 73 Questions. And if you've watched Vogue 73 Questions, you know that none of that is scripted. <laughs> What one thing do you need to have in your fridge at any given time? Hummus, weirdly. No, I think she actually likes hummus. Yeah, Who doesn't. Give me cheers. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Just like a going away party at an office. They're like, let's celebrate Jan retiring <laughs> with some hummus and wheat thins. Do you think like when Cartley Kloss comes over, all her Selena like, Gomez. Selena Gomez and Gigi Hadid, she's like, mm, hang on guys. <laughs> and then just like, here's some Sombra. So what I'm learning is that if Taylor Swift has like a dinner party to go to, 
she just whips up pasta and meatballs real quick. Real quick, homemade. Homemade pasta, homemade meatballs. She has nothing better to do. She's out there planting Easter eggs and then comes home and whips this up. Yeah, what apparently in the L article that came out recently, she said that Barefoot Contessa's Ina Earhart, Earnhardt? Gardner. Gardner. Close, good big fan, huh? <laughs> You know what I'm finding out about Taylor Swift? Not gluten free. Which I love. You about like that her. about her? I really like someone who can just kind of be down for the get down. I get it. You know? I'm so excited about this. This looks like a little al dente, which I don't know if Barefoot Contessa likes it that way, but I do. Mmm. It's a little cold, but it's a little chilly. But you know what? Mmm. It's good. It actually tastes like better than what I make at home. <laughs> Maybe I should be using a recipe. I'm curious to taste this meatball. It's real meaty. I like it. Mm. There's lots of spices in there. Like, I want to know. Every recipe, good. you always have your own personal twist. On yeah, it. mine is usually hair. I can just picture Taylor Swift having like too much Chardonnay coming home from like the Grammys and just be like, oh, barefoot Contessa, <laughs> suck on that. We're carb loading here today on yeah. cheat day. You know, it's no wonder she dances around so much. There's just so much starch. <laughs> This is the moment we've all been waiting for. I love grown up Taylor Swift because in the reputation era of her, she talks about drinking. Whiskey. Every song I has know. a different mention of an alcoholic substance, which like, welcome to the future, <laughs> Taylor Swift. And then in the Vogue article, she says that her favorite drink is vodka diet Coke. What's your favorite cocktail? Uh, vodka diet Coke. Mm, okay. I strongly disagree. I feel like maybe she was still partnering with Diet Coke and had to say that because in no world does anybody drink vodka Diet Coke except for right now. You know what? Taylor needs mm. to hang out with us. We can maybe turn her into like a tequila girl. Oh, tequila, Taylor, call me. <laughs> but vodka Diet Coke are two things that don't go together. But if Taylor says they do, maybe, then maybe I'm we'll in. like it. Maybe we're judging it in our heads. Maybe. Probably not. Honestly. It's not it's bad. Not. So you have no idea what a weight has lifted off of my life. But wait, wait, I'm concerned about all of the aspartame we drink. drink. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> has I already gone to your weight, oh no! <laughs> Can we talk about how Taylor hasn't had one vegetable? <laughs> No Brussels sprout to be seen. Not a spinach in sight. <laughs> no. That's why I love her, because yeah. I just feel like it's so relatable. She's just so real. She's just like us. Ugh, but she's not. She's, she's so better. much better. <laughs> This I can't good. taste it without eating it. You yeah. know those things like you walk into a bakery and you're like, yeah. I just gained 15 pounds just by being here? Yeah, you're like, my two thirds, it's a cavity. Yeah, yeah. this is like what I'm experiencing right now. I mean, do you like cream cheese? Sometimes. <laughs> so good. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. I love this. Mm. Mm. Too many soft substances in one. Well, I haven't thing. bitten into it yet. Oh, mm. no. I need some texture in that. This is like the pumpkin loaf with frosting. It is. <laughs> it is a pumpkin loaf. It's like when you go to like the high school fundraiser sure. and all the moms yeah. bring potluck, yeah. and then there's the one that you're like, that looks really good, and you eat it, and you're like, ooh, whose mom was this? Yeah. And you're, you're like, oh, Joey's. Yeah, of course it was. Should have stuck with the pinwheel sandwiches. <laughs> All of this food is very communal. Like everything that she eats is very much like For the everyday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's very much like the office, what's left over in the office. Nothing really strikes me as like superstar. It's more than basic, but it's it's so much less than fame. Wow, write that down. That is a great song lyric. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Can we just take it back to Aaron and Tracy circa maybe what? 15 years ago? 15 years ago? This would have been our, our favorite thing oh, to do on the weekend. This would have been our birthday, our funeral. We, oh, this Friday was, night. Friday night, Monday Saturday night. night. Sunday night. Is it a Wednesday morning? Here's a cake. <laughs> we were twins. Wait, wait, you have a little something. Uh, what else is there? <laughs> 15 years ago, I would have eaten that out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Are we gonna have a big bite of this? Hell yeah. Oh I gosh. love Funfetti cake. It's my favorite cake. Mm. Oh, that is sweet. But like, not sweet like sugary, like sweet. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> it's so sweet. The frosting is like, Ugh. This is the only thing that doesn't have um, sweet and low. low. Okay, I'm gonna try the cake without the frosting. Oh God. Well, if you didn't like that, mm. then you're definitely not gonna like these like pure sugar balls on top with truffle, the truffle, truffle butter. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't think is that's that wrong. What... <laughs> okay, I like the cake. The icing is this too is much. Too much. It's a lot. I don't think this is the best cake I've ever had. I agree. Interesting. I actually think like just like a craft cake from my pantry that's been in there, like in my mm. earthquake supply kit, would be better. Like this is just so. <clears throat> it's like in my throat. It's too. It's like the sugar is coating my body. Yeah, I don't know, you guys. Like I feel like I should like this more. It was so good that even Jay Z <laughs> raved about it. Yeah. This was really sad for me. And this kind of brings me back to like the Taylor food. It's just like so white bread. Yeah, it's just I'm bready. a little disappointed. Like I thought maybe she would develop more of a palette over the years. This makes sense for her brand. Like mm -hmm. if, if she would have come out with some sort of like caviar or something. Be weird. None of us would want to be friends with her. Like this makes me want to be friends with her. Yeah, it definitely makes me want to have like a snack before I come over to her house <laughs> for dinner. You know, like I'm not going to come over to Taylor's house like starving. I'm going to like, I'm going to pregame okay. and then just like have like a couple of bites. Yeah. So I feel closer to Taylor Swift. I feel like she now knows who we are because I bet you she's watched this. And we're available to be your friend. Um, also, Taylor, if you're there or if you're not Taylor, you should subscribe to this channel because this is Taylor Swift week. We're doing so much Taylor Swift content. So subscribe, uh, hit the bell so you know when we upload videos. And um, you know what would be a good job for us, Erin? Trying Taylor's food to make sure it's not poison before she eats it. Oh, and that's one way we can be your friend. Yes, wow. Taylor, we have our resumes in the printer in the other room. <laughs> Call us. And if you love Taylor Swift and you love Clever Style, you have to click right over here because we tried all of her favorite beauty products on Beauty Break. It's your turn. Mm. And then also subscribe. You guys have done the internet before. You know what you're doing. <laughs> you don't need me to tell you. I'm gonna eat more cake.